minutes. I don't know how we're keeping contained. Uh, isn't this cool though? Oh, there's like owls over there. Short to friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for checking in today. And honestly, today feels a little bit like a cop-out video because I've been so busy helping my sister move and the last two days have kind of been just been a wash from that. It's just been that, so I haven't had time to actually work on anything. And so here it is Friday. I need to upload. It's it's 4.30, so I need to get this out in like five and a half hours, and I'm just recording this now. I do have things that I want to publish that I've been sitting on, but I, I kind of want to do all new news videos this week. And honestly, I just this is gonna be a good chance and the first time really for me just to talk to you all. Uh, to talk to you friends and um, kind of say what's up. But mostly, I, I kind of want to talk about what it is that I'm doing with all this. Some of you know, I left the very safe and secure job that I had to pursue YouTube full time. Um, and I told a lot of you that I was doing photography full time. That's it's kind of a lie. I'm sorry, it's not completely the truth. I didn't feel comfortable enough telling everyone that I was doing YouTube because some people that I would tell would kind of look at me like, why, why are you doing this? Why, you know? How are you going to make money with this? And so it just seemed easier to say I was doing photography. And the truth is, I probably will be doing some photography because I need to make some money on the side. And because I don't, I don't expect to see a whole lot of money coming in from YouTube anytime soon. But that's the truth. Like, I left... Oh my god, It's also so windy here. Um, that's it. I, I, left you, I left this job I had to do YouTube full-time. So earlier this week, when I was in New York, I took a bus ride up, and one of the first things I did was I went to PC Nice That Studio at 368, and I'd never had a moment where I visited something that such a significant impact on my life, and it really put this whole YouTube journey into perspective because it made this dream of being a YouTuber and making a career out of making online internet videos on YouTube so much more handy because you can you can watch YouTube all you want on your phone or on your computer and it, it almost seems like a fictional place when you're watching YouTube and YouTubers it almost seems like that they're at Hogwarts or at in Narnia these these fantasy places but when you can actually go to that was built by a YouTuber, it makes it so real. It makes this dream a reality. It shows you that someone with enough skill and passion and work ethic is able to make a career and make a, a massive following out of doing YouTube. So if I had a super safe and secure job where I was doing pretty well, mentally and monetarily, why did I choose to leave and leave all and lose all of that to pursue this dream path, this career, instead. It really stems from one night I was sitting in my room and I was thinking that in a few months I'm gonna turn 26. And I've had a good life so far, I've had a great life, but I haven't done anything significant. And as the years go on, I don't wanna reach 62 at retirement and look back and like, oh, I, I should have done this, so I could have reached this goal faster. And so, it just felt like the right time to just take this giant jump. To jump into a dream of mine in a career that I really think I could thrive in and I would be happy to do for a very long time. But I knew over the last year doing YouTube part time, I knew if I really wanted to succeed in this dream, I had to give it my all. I had to put all of my creative, all of my emotional energy into this one thing and there wouldn't be room for and so I had to take this massive jump, this massive leap to get, to get to where I wanted to be. So this video for me is, it's a closing one because this is the first week that I've ever been my own boss. It's so lame, so dorky, but it brings a smile to my face knowing that this is the first week that I'm a YouTuber, and sure I'm not a big YouTuber, I haven't made any money off of doing this stuff yet, but that's what I chose to do. So in the sense that I'm, my full time, I'm spending every day working on videos, recording videos, posting on YouTube, 
just doing that makes me a YouTuber. And it sounds vain to say, but I love it. I love it so much to be able to say I'm that. And so I also want to say to everyone that I did work with, everyone and my friends and family along the way, thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me on this on this adventure and on this journey that I'm going on, and most importantly, for supporting a dream of mine. It's not easy to support someone else's dream when it's something that you may not necessarily agree with, or think, think is kind of odd, but the fact is that I've had so much support from everybody on this, just getting into it, that it's made this transition so much easier. It's made the fact that I'm making no income right now, and my videos are getting 20 to 30 views. Like, to me, that's, that's so much support, and I can only imagine how it's gonna grow as more and more time goes on. And the fact that you care so much about my success, this shows you how great all of you are. Like, seriously, like, you guys, you got me, you got me out of this, this job that was, was sucking the life out of me. Like, I love being there, and I love seeing you all, but, I didn't have any time for anything else, even myself. I felt so depleted at the end of the night that all I wanted to do was sleep. And I knew that that, that wasn't right. No matter if I was monetarily safe, my bills were paid, I had food on my plate, I had a roof over my head. But looking back, I, would, I wish I had chosen this path earlier. I would have given up all of that, as, as I'm doing now, really to pursue my dream because I, I can say I'm so happy now. And for anyone watching this, if you ever take, want to take that leap, want to do something like this, or just want, to, want some support on something, you gave me so much support. So know that I am there to support you in anything it is that you're going through, in anything that you want to achieve. You have my full support because, like I said, this, this, this life, this life, like I'm here, but I mean like, Heck, I'm on the top of a rooftop in DC recording a video when I would be at work normally. Like, this is the coolest thing. This is so cool doing this. And I want all of you to experience that in any way that you think that you're gonna do that. So, if you need support on anything, to pursue anything, just know you have someone on the outside that's starting it that will support you in any way that I can. And I want to say to everyone, especially those friends I had conversations with earlier about pursuing their dreams or that want to, if you're watching this down the road and you just you need something uplifting, I hope this works out for you. And I want you to know that don't feel like you need to take the jump just like I did, in the same way I did. Right now, I feel ready to do this. If I had thought about this last year, I probably wouldn't have done this. And the truth is, when I started my YouTube channel, I was basically in the same place I was back then, but mentally I had another year to really figure things out and I know that emotionally and mentally I'm ready to take this leap. So if you're not there yet, don't worry about it. If you know that you want to be a designer or a musician or a YouTuber or an entertainer or whatever it is, if you don't feel ready to do it, it's okay. Like It's taking time. It's just taking those minor steps. To me, it was starting a YouTube channel. When I started my channel last year, I just made daily videos when I just talked to my camera for two or three minutes to get comfortable in front of it. And now here I am talking on a rooftop to this doing the same thing. It's just it's just a little different. But you take those small steps until you're ready to take that big step. That's what it comes down to. With that said though, there's always gonna be that thought in the back of your mind, like, is that a really a sustainable dream? How much work is it gonna take to get to there? Or that you're not ready, you're not good enough to reach that position. You see someone else, but you're not good enough. Because it's those things, those negative things, that aren't at, you're not actually listening to yourself, listen to the fear inside of you. And the truth is, being sustainable, you'll find ways to adapt. You'll, sure you may not have as much money or as much stuff, but you'll learn that'll be your new normal and you'll be able to adapt to it. And you're gonna gain skills by doing an experience that person at a point at that point you become that person that you thought that you had that you you looked up to and then now you have other people looking at you like oh I can't attain what they had but the truth is we all start at ground zero and if you love what you do you're generally gonna find a way to make that to help that support you you're gonna be happy you're gonna be you're gonna find ways to make money because 
you're gonna be passionate about what you're doing, so you're gonna wanna do it more, and obviously that will just bring more people to you, you'll get better at it, and then you'll be financially better off. It's not with that it's hard coming, it's like to me, I'm so stressed, like the fact that it's almost five and I'm just recording this video now, I'm so anxious to, to record this and get in my computer and edit it because I want it out. But it's a good stress because it's a stress that I put on myself. When I was at my job, I had to worry about numbers and doing certain things for other people. I don't have to worry about that now. Now, when I do my work on YouTube, it's my stress. I stress out that is my content good enough? Is this reaching the people I want in the way that I want it to? And that's a fun and a good stress because it's a stress that I get to work on and I get to manage. And I'm not worried about outside factors pulling me in. And on the good stuff, I'm loving every minute of my life. Like this week, I've traveled more than I've done all summer. I spent time in New York. I'm now in DC. I'm helping my sister move. Like these are things that I wouldn't have been able to do if I had my job. I would have the request off weeks in advance. And now I can just live my life. I can do what I want to do and experience what I want to experience. And the best, best part of this is that every time I press that upload button, there's this huge sense of relief knowing that I put all of this time, all I am into this video and now I get to share it with people that I like and people I don't know and they get to see me and they get to watch these videos. It's, it is the most satisfying feeling ever and I want everyone to experience that because when you see someone who respond positively to something you've created or just see something that you've created, it means everything. It makes every tough decision so much easier. It makes you want to do it again and again. And the fact that I get to do that again and again, three, four, five times a week, it makes all the difference. So So for the last bit, I'm gonna record just a, a minute long of a motivation thing that I listen to that kind of gets me going. And I want, I want you, if you, if you stay to the end of this video, listen to this full minute and just think about how you can better your life in a small way. Because once you better your life, you can start bettering lives of other people. And that's what I want to do. And that's what I want you to do. I want you to come and towards this. Like we all have dreams, we all have goals that we want to achieve. And we just need to, to stop worrying about what other people think and what we what we can't do. But like Casey Neistat says, do what you can't. Just just take that leap. If you're ready there mentally, just take the leap because everything else will follow suit. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna take time. But you gotta get there. So everyone, so friends, most importantly, thank you for the support I've been given on this YouTube adventure and thank you for supporting me further. If you know someone that should see a video like this, of someone that's taken that leap very early on, please share this with them. Let me know if this is helping you, what you guys want, what other people want. If this helps somebody because, again, that's just what it's about. If I reach one other person, I've done my job. I've shared what I've learned to somebody else. Above all else, you are worth everything. You're worth, your, your life is your own. And you're worth the most out of everything in the world. And so you should take ownership of it and just enjoy it. Enjoy every minute of it. I know I am. I know I'm so happy doing this. It's so hard, but it's, I have never experienced anything more satisfying than pursuing a dream. Because dreams, it by themselves can just, they can become a fantasy that we, we look at and like, I'm never gonna achieve that, but that's not true. That's not true. Anyone can reach their dream, or at least get to a part of it. And I'm on that journey and I'm doing it and I want you to do it too once you're ready. It's like a giant random mess. Uh, the wind is destroying me right now with my hair going everywhere. I can't, I can't even concentrate, I feel like. I don't know if you can even hear me, it's so windy. But friends, thank you so much for checking in today. Please share this with someone that needs to hear it. And for you, keep creating, be brave, above all else. All your friends next week on Monday. Peace. Let me share something with you. You can learn all the techniques in the world. If you don't believe in yourself, it won't happen for you. I learned all of it. 
So that's why I do a training called Focus on the Seller. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself, every day, every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Most people go through life never discovering what their talents are. Most people never develop their talents. They have skills and abilities, but if you don't nurture them, if you don't develop them, they will never serve you. Your gifts can take you many places if you develop your gifts. Don't get caught up in, well, I've tried it four or five times and things didn't work out. If there's something that you want and you're hungry for it, you've got to do whatever is necessary until. And when you give the best you can and that's not enough, you must do what is required. When you, when you have something you want to do, if you don't develop the courage to do that which has been given you to do, and you spend a lot of time going around trying to convince other people or trying to get their approval, what will happen is that you will lose your nerve and other people will convince you that what you're doing doesn't have any value and you'll give up on your dream.